and the merry bells keep ringing. Happy holidays to you. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. Welcome, Donner and Blitzen and Comet and Cupid. Is it, did we invite anybody else to that? There's more, right? Welcome to the Game of Galleon. I'm Captain Raz, your humble host. And I thought we'd spend an hour away from the world, away from the stress, away from the pressure, away from the deadlines, away from the good cheer, and away from the family to be on a pirate ship. How about that, huh? How about that? Let's go on a pirate ship! Woo! <laughs> it feels so good to just get this baby in the water. You know? Maybe you don't celebrate a holiday, but if you do, you know that there's always that pressure to get things done. And when it's finally done and happening, you can breathe. And that's how I feel here with you guys this fine day on the Silicon Seas. We have a video game for you today. We have some booty in the chest. We have some kindly written letters in the bag that tells no tales. And we have some stories to regale you with. How about that, huh? Uh, I, I, look, sometimes I just like to talk your guys' ear off, off, you know, off the top. But it's the holidays. Okay, there's a lot of pressure going on. Uh, let's just open some presents. Can we just do that? Look at what's under the tree. You're not going to believe this. I had to pick up some garland. For the uh the ship here three bucks on the silver garland here trimming the air i was in a dollar general okay i went in there on the way in i see there's a chipotle i'm like chipotle oh that sounds amazing it's like 10 30 in the morning i grabbed the garland i'm like this is amazing i never get something this good this early in the morning Let's grab it. I'm always stuck with breakfast. But here's a place I can get a nice, hearty, exotic meal at 10.30 in the morning. I walk up there, try to open it. This jackass place opens at 10.45. What? I'm already pissed off that these places wait until 10.30 to do breakfast. This place thinks it's got the cojones? To do 1045? I don't understand why places do it at 1030, not 10. It isn't like the, the latest, the last business, generally normal business hours, don't they open at 10? Aren't those people supposed to be in the stores getting started? Why are we still serving breakfast then? Is that for everyone who wasn't responsible enough to show up on time for work? They can get a McMuffin on the way in too? So I'm like, well, I got, I got 15 minutes to kill. I guess I'll go back in the Dollar General. So I'll go back in the Dollar General. I'm looking around. And, you know, you're a pretty sad individual when you're looking for Christmas ornaments in a Dollar General, first of all. You're even a sadder guy if you're the guy who goes to the clearance area. Okay. Welcome to my world. So I'm looking around at all the clearance stuff. You know, there's like expired food, uh, makeup products that are half dried out because they've been on the shelf so long. I, I, and, I, I, you know, I had no intention of really getting anything. And then I saw this. I was like, what? We got to get this. It's ridiculous. Look at this. Talk about last minute sh Christmas shopping. We have the amusement park. It, figure included. And if you had any concern about what the price is, uh, don't worry, they have you covered. 
It's <laughs> what is it? Did they... are they selling the clearance items to glaucoma patients? What's happening here? So it, it, apparently, it's a amu... the the theme is amusement park. Uh, there's <laughs> it's got a difficulty level for build. This is apparently the easiest difficulty level. And the theme is carnival treats. As you can see, we, we they were asking a dollar eighty-five for this. Okay, a dollar eighty-five. And if you look in the back, wow! Look at all the fun things that the figure can engage in. You have, I believe that's a swing set. Okay, uh, over here, I, I, what is that? Is that a? A, a, a shopping cart? I'm not exactly sure. I guess we're supposed to use our imagination. And then finally, this old chestnut that we see at every carnival. What? Is this a portable turntable? I have no idea. Dollar eighty-five. So I grabbed that merely because there was just a ridiculous amount of pricing on it. I just thought that that was hilarious. They may have spent $2 worth of pricing on the box. So I grabbed that. I was like, ah, we'll kill some time. Do it on the show. And then, you know, I don't know. It's like, even in the darkest moments of humanity, something about being a part of this ship, there's this, just like some sort of serendipitous luck going on. So as I'm holding this, and I've just left the clearance area, and was grabbing some peanut butter or something and was about to leave, that's when the manager sticks his head out to the clerk and screams, Hey! Hey, Billy! Just so you know, any clearance items that are on the clearance rack, they just went down another 50% off the price tag. I'm like, what? Oh, yeah, let's do it, baby. Let's go. Come on. Oh, yeah! All the stupid stuff we can find. Ah. Ah. Oh, my God. All right. All right. What was this? What do you got? Thomas the Tank Engine Mini. It was 25 cents. We got it for 12 cents. Is that right? I think so. I shouldn't even be opening this. I was thinking about stuff, stuffing them in the stocking of my niece and nephew. Ah, forget it. They'll live. Okay. There you go. Thomas the Tate Kitchen. How was he? How much was he? 12 cents? We'll take him. Some sort of instruction manual. I'm sure that's important. Uh, here's an eyeball. The eyeball is a dollar. They were asking, so what is that for us? 50 cents? Right? All right, let's open it up. It says smash open eyeball. Smash open the eyeball. God, can I even get into this thing? Ah! There you go. All right, smash it open. Do we have anything to smash it with? Oh boy, this is gonna be great. Ah, got it. And inside the shell, the eyeball, I should say, is uh, 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 some fries that, uh, it, it, uh, whatever it had for lunch is disagreeing with it. It's vomiting. Okay, great. My Little Pony! What? This is a, a, a brand name stuff right here. They were asking a dollar. We got it for 50 cents. Right? Let's do it. What's inside? Maybe I can complete my set. It's got Hasbro all over it. It's Rainbow Dash. God, why would I ever reveal that I know that? All right, what's this thing? Transformers, uh, bot, bot bots, transformer bot bots. There's some instructions. Oh, series two. Okay. And it says in the back here that you press the cardboard and then something comes out of it. I love, I love this whole revolution of, it's not even a revolution. This has been going on for decades. The whole, Hey, buy something. You might get something inside that you want. You probably won't. But you don't care. It's all the discovery, right? All right, so. All right, so I gotta press on this. 
and then the, the, the prize will come out. Is that, that right? Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, what is it? It's another carnival treat for the amusement park action figure. No, what is it? Oh, my God, it's actually Transformer. Oh, it's a Tyrannosaurus. Look at this thing. There you go. Yeah, hi. Hi. He's going to have his own Christmas special next season. He's adorable. He can pull out his... Looks like he's posable. Pull out his legs. Oh, that's a, that's a high-energy transformer. This has got to be limited edition. There you go. All right. What's this? What else are we got? Here. An old favorite. Poop. Man, we had to go there, didn't we? We were like the final... We were like the last internet channel in existence to not bring it up. We finally had to go there. It's Poop. Uh, I love the look on the kid's face. He's excited. Uh, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Merry Christmas, Kevin. Uh, pranks. Wow, a dollar. No, actually, 50 cents is the price. What does that mean? Two bucks for us? You'll notice it's a little off. What is going on here? Why? What's this little piece here? What's that all about? Well, you're going to love this. That's actually Velcro. That's a, that's adhesive. So what you do is... They've got a diagram here for you. I would do it, but I'm not wearing shoes. Pirates don't wear shoes. What are you talking about? You, put, you, you place it onto the shoe, adhesive side up, then you step on it, and oh boy, it looks like you stepped in it. Every eight-year-old's dream, right there. Did I get anything else? Oh, and then of course, five bouncy balls. Fifty cents. Mark that down to twenty-five cents. What's that? Five cents a bouncy ball? Come on, do it! Right. Oh, and then a couple more My Little Ponies. Uh, here, here's a couple. They're going to be doing a road show later and uh, some sort of Easter Bunny one, right? Give this to a kid on Christmas. They'll be utterly confused. Uh, those were both a dollar each. We have the receipt. Now, keep in mind, we brought these up to the counter. This guy's working at 11 in the morning for minimum wage. Now he's got to remark down uh, something that's already been marked down. Half, half more with other people waiting in line. To pennies on the dollar. As I said, we spent three bucks on the garland. After the garland and after tax, with all this rigmarole we had here, it all came out to seven bucks. Four dollars wasted. I just, I would just want to look. Yeah, here's the receipt. That's all. Very cheap. He probably marked it down even more. He would have had to, right? Do the math. All right, so there you go. Where are we this week? Uh, we're on a sleepy New Hampshire town. Perfect time. Perfect place for Christmas. Snow has just hit the ground on the East Coast. We're in a sleepy town that happens to have a school for troubled children. Right in the neighborhood. It's a very old historic town known as Bullworth. That's right. There's a lot of people out there this season who aren't going to be able to get home for Christmas. And we're going to step into the shoes of one such person. Billy Hopkins. A troubled teen, just trying to make his way through life, finds himself dropped off by his mother and newly married stepfather on the way to their cruise, might I add, on the steps of Bullworth Academy. He's been there for about three months, and he wakes this morning to find himself in the crisp winter air 
of the Christmas season. Now, I've been playing this to get ready. I've never played it before, but I know it takes place over the time from the fall semester of your usual school year all the way until the end, I would assume. But I figured I knew enough to know that he gets dropped off at the beginning of the year. Wouldn't it make sense that eventually, if you played it enough, Christmas would come? And that, my friends, is exactly what happened. I kept playing. I got about 30% into the game. And one morning, Jimmy crawled out of bed. And on the screen it said, It's Christmas time. That is where I stopped. Okay? We're going to go into B Jimmy Hopkins' dorm room at Bullworth Academy in Bullworth New Hampshire. We'll be playing the Xbox 360 version. Uh, the scholarship edition, who knows what that means. I think it's more, it says more, okay, here, new features, new missions, new characters, mini games, two player mini games. That's a nice touch. Not that we have anyone to play with. Okay, we'll be playing this one. I have no idea what's going to go forward. As I said, I've played it enough to know the basics, maybe a little bit more. We're 30% into the game. But we stopped, and we're going to explore Bullworth during the Christmas season together. And the most exciting thing that's about to happen, over the loudspeaker, you're just about to hear when we get started. Over the loudspeaker, the administration, the principal's office, has said, Jimmy Hopkins... Please come to the office. Your mother has sent a Christmas gift. <laughs> what do you say we open something together? All right. It's Bully by Rockstar. Oh, boy. Did this one make waves 15 years ago? Bully Scholarship Edition for the Xbox 360. Let's get started. All right. All right, here we go. We got a little audio there. We're going to start in um, no gameplay mode here because I want you guys to be able to hear the loudspeaker. And I swear, once the loudspeaker hit and I heard this, that we have a present to pick up, I stopped. All right, so we're going to go and explore this together. Here we go. See that? Oh, yeah. huh? I wasn't lying. All right, go to the principal's office. So this is Jimmy's little room here. I put some green pants on him. I try to make him as Christmassy as possible. I failed. Uh, he's got a bed here. Uh, a couple of pictures from his... Uh... Oh, boy, I think I just punched something. Let's put that away. Um, there we go. It's, Christmas is here. A couple of pictures from his girlfriends here. Uh, some panties he had left over from a panty raid he did a couple weeks back. He's been busy. Here's some uh, gloves he picked up when he beat the snot out of some preppies in a boxing, uh, the, the local boxing uh, gym. Uh, I think he uh, lifted this wheel off a go-kart. Um, here's some books he never pays attention to. The chemistry set... I think we had some eggs out on the floor. We picked those up. Let's make a little supplies here before we head out. All right, great. Firecrackers, those will come in handy. All right? All right, so we're going to the, the principal's office. This is the boys' dorm. Bullworth Academy. Uh, the Christmas decos are up. Greetings, Greetings to you, sir. Nice posture. Uh, let's see the Christmas trees. As everything is, I mean, talk about festive. Yeah, the game, the game has arcade games, which you know I'm a sucker for. Um, I gotta say, they're not the most exciting. Street Race uh, 2165, probably the best game I've seen. You know, the thing about Rockstar is they'll put these games in. They're not that good. <laughs> ever, since, uh, 
Ever since San Andreas, they've never made very good games. Let's see if there's something worth uh, mentioning on the bulletin board here. Science homework, who cares? Beware, crazy old man behind the school may have rabies. And uh, lost pet rat. Alright, thank you. Let's go see the snow out in Bulworth, New Hampshire. Shall we? The office is in the main building of the school. Not too far away from us. Snow is hit the ground. It looks beautiful out here. Listen to that crispness. Let me just not talk for a second. Listen to this. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. All right, let's go. Come on. We don't have time. Let's pull out the skateboard. Oh, yeah. Luckily, someone did the shoveling so we can make our way through the snow here a little bit. It's still slippery. And here we are. Oh, hang on there. Full Worth Academy. All right. Oh, man. Let's do it. Principal's office is on the second floor. Can you hold the door? No. Fair enough. Okay. Man, I remember putting panties on my wall. Those were the days. Can't get away with that now. Oh no, I don't want to help you. Everybody's needy. Alright, I'm excited. I have no idea what Mom has sent. This may be like 10 million times. Who knows? Christmas is here. Oh my god. Hello, miss. Oh, there you are, Jimmy. I'll make this quick. Your mom has sent you a Christmas present. Just great. I know. You are very lucky your mom is so nice. You may go now. Thank you. <laughs> That's wonderful. How cheerful. Mom, you're the best. I can't tell you how much t trouble I went through trying to find red and green clothing. And it turns out mom sent me this ridiculous sweater. The, 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 the nose is actually coming out. This is a problem. I was hoping this would start some sort of big Christmas uh, hijink adventure for Jimmy Hopkins. We have nothing else to do. What time is it? It's 9 a.m. School's about to, class is about to start. Should we go to class? Today? <laughs> I guess we ought to always go. I mean, we could always just bum around the city. Maybe do a little Christmas window shopping? How about that? You think they have decorations out in town? Is it like Christmas vacation? I thought classes started at 9 a.m. You see there's a little clock there in the upper left-hand corner, but I'm not hearing the bell go off. And frankly, there's not that many people here. Oh, there it is. That, that, there it is. Nice job with the blind run, Riz. You've, you've literally created nothing to do for this adventure. All right, let's go. Come on. We'll find something. Don't worry. There's a lot to do in Bullworth. Okay? Well, we can always just look at the tree. It's gorgeous. What is that? A Douglas fir? I think it is. All right, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? I th you know what? Nobody's here. This would be a perfect time to try and uh, maybe lift something out of it, somebody's locker. All right, let's see if we can do that. Let's run upstairs, try and find a secluded area. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's see, what, which one looks right for the pig? Oh yeah, nobody around here. All right, let's give it a go. How do we do this? Oh boy. There we go. Gotta look out for the prefects now. They're still... Still people walking around the hall. What do we got? A werewolf mask? What? Now that's Christmassy! It matches the deer. Let's put it on. Oh, we can't. We gotta... Let's go back to the dorm and throw that on. Are you kidding me? What are the odds? We'll put the wolfman mask on. And then maybe I think we're gonna hit the booty. And then we'll, uh... Yeah, we'll see what's going on in the, bo in the chest. We got some good stuff. I think we did okay. You're gonna have to be the judge. 
Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, 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 wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see the, the snowman here. Happy birthday! There you go, we'll take a photo of it. Let's put this werewolf mask on. That's in the season, right? Oh, yeah, excuse me. Could you get the door? Please. All right. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. There's a scuffle. Let's put this thing on. Werewolf mask. There it is. <laughs> Billy, I think it may be the time in your life where you're going to have to start considering shaving. I love that I'm advising him with that. All right. Let's uh, wrap it up there for now. Did I do the uh, the harp at all? Who wants to see some booty? Ah! We'll get back to Jimmy later, all right? Jimmy, you hold off, baby. You have a good time. He's going to be sweating in that mask as much as I'm sweating with this scarf on. All right. Whoo, baby. All right. Booty time. I think it is. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. All right, we have two deals here, and it's always exciting for our Christmas voyages when we can have some hardware. I'm always excited to show. I mean, it's it's Christmas, isn't that what Christmas is all about? Is getting that brand spanking new hardware that everybody's clamoring for uh everybody's putting their own needs first uh before considering uh maybe spending that those hundreds of dollars on other people no they need to get the new hardware well, we didn't do that but while everybody else is scraping around for the latest thing we're doing what we do best we're picking up the pieces Oh yeah, absolutely. So, we've got two deals here. One is very old, extremely old actually. I believe this deal is nearly a year old. I think this happened all the way back in January, maybe even February, maybe even March. But it's been sitting in the hopper for a long, long time and I think it's a great deal. We got this at the toy pit we've talked about the toy pit before it's all the way back in indianapolis it's this awesome wonderland of toys from the past 40 or so years probably beyond that easily beyond that you can get stuff new you can get stuff old there's everything from pristine inbox high-end gen 1 transformers to dirty filthy, overly used, missing part Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sitting in a Tupperware on the floor, okay? This place is a mess. Now, we have gone there in the past to pick up video games because we figured that's a toy store. They're probably going to get some of that stuff. That's not really their market, so maybe we can get it for a deal. We pulled that off a couple times in the past couple of years. But the last time we were there, many, many months ago, with our good friend First Mate Bismuth, they had finally wised up. Video games had finally found their own closed glass counter. Games like Legend of Zelda were at retail price, market price. Okay? And I kept, but, uh, but you know, you don't, you got to persevere. And I did, and I came across a box. As Bismuth was looking for toys, of course. I was looking for video games. And I came across this box. Okay. Very nondescript. Nothing on it. Okay. However, what was on it? 
squint and you'll see it. We sure did. A PlayStation Portable. So this was sealed when we got it, okay? And apparently they had had this on the, their eBay store and it just had not been selling. And I said, what's the price on this? And they're like, eh, it's been, we've been trying to sell it off online for a long time. We're not really sure what we want to sell it for. What price are you looking at? And I said, well, they're everywhere. Using that poker face we've come to know and love over the years. Uh, how about 20 bucks? And they looked at each other and said, okay. Now, part of the reason is I said 20 bucks because I didn't know what was in here. I wasn't sure. They knew it was in there because they'd posted it. And I felt like 20 bucks was a worthwhile gamble to keep it closed and just ask, can I get it? So that's what we did. Okay? So we got it. We paid for it. Brought it back. And this is what was inside. First of all, there's a couple of pieces of software in here. All right, that's pretty nice. Oh my God, there it goes. Uh, Family Guy season one and two. Uh, it, I think this is like a, a nickel at this point. Are they even in there? Who knows? Let's take a look. I'm actually not sure. In this weird case here. The, oh my god, there's five discs inside. That's more than I expected. Did you really take that many UMDs for two seasons of Family Guy? Oh my god! Oh my god! You, these things are put together with like balsam wood. They're, those have got to be shabby. Wonderful. Okay, so there you go. Are they broke? They're okay. They're all right. Oh yeah, they're fine. They're they're ready to not be washed. Okay, uh, and a game. That's great. You got something to watch while you're on the train, and you got something to play. Medal of Honor Heroes. Uh, I like the Medal of Honor series. I hear this one is somewhat uh, story driven. It was uh, rated relatively well. I have not played it. Seems like uh, Jimmy Patterson. Wasn't Jimmy Patterson in the first uh, Medal of Honor? He's back. Does this guy ever get uh, to go home? Jesus. Jimmy, all the best. All right, so that's in there. Nice complete copy. Again, really not worth much, but definitely a good game. Okay, let's take a look at the system. They did show me a posting. Where did it go? I lost it. Here it is. Is there anything else in here? Not that I can see. So let's see the system. And I was very surprised to find when I opened this box that the PSP we bought for $20, got a game and a PMV in, was a PSP 1000, which is the first PSP to ever come out and it happened to be in the box how neat we have a couple of PSPs but we don't have them in the nice snazzy box that it first came in how about that huh looks pretty gorgeous PSP 1000 has these neat contours on the back we'll take a look at that in a second okay let's open it up let's try not to drop it on the ground uh, opening this little uh, compartment here is where you'll find the charger. I was delighted to see not only is the charger here, but there's also uh, a car charger, which is a really nice touch. That's a really nice touch. PSPs can go out relatively quickly. So it's nice to have an option on the road. And then it's got all of the uh, various paperwork. Who cares? 
Uh, but I guess that makes it a little more complete. The manual's in there, so that's pretty neat. All right. And then the system itself. PSP. Okay. Uh, also, coming with this, this nice little uh, sleeve, again, didn't see that coming. That was in there with it. Beautiful little sleeve. And here's the system in really nice condition. Really nice shape. Beautiful. Uh, the contours in the back, I can't get enough of these. Those are really neat. And she fires right up. There you go. Okay. Why aren't you moving? There we go. Memory stick, what's on here? There's a, some pictures, maybe. There you go, now she's opening up. Saved uh, memory. There's a memory stick in there for 28 megabytes. I'm not sure how much that is or how much is left. I believe there's no games on here, no games. If there were, we still wouldn't be able to play them, I don't think. No, no games. So there you go, 20 bucks on a really nice Cherry 1000 PSP. We didn't have the 1000. And we got some games to go with it and a nice little sleeve. I think we did all right on that. Especially considering how many PSP games we have. I think we did all right. Okay. It, <laughs> it's a rubber ball. There's toys everywhere. Okay, in the here, one more piece. Don't worry, there's more hardware. One more deal here. Absolutely. This is more recent. And boy, what a pain in the ass this one was. I hadn't been out for months. I have not been out. I think you may guess why. A uh, big part of that is my schedule has changed, as have the opening hours of the pawn shops. Reduced hours have happened. So as a result, the days of me just walking out and having the city of Indianapolis at my fingertips for the hour that I have for lunch don't exist anymore, okay? So every so often, my shift changes, and when that has happened, I've managed to go out here and there. And I was lucky enough to come across this little sweetheart. It's in a pawn shop we've been in many times before, but if you know anything about pawn shops, the turnover rate is quite high. And if you're not a regular, they don't know who you are and they don't care who you are. And that has become more and more the philosophy of your average pawn shop employee as of late. So it's pretty much catch as catch can for us guys these days, okay? Luckily, we've been getting ours for years, so we're doing all right. But it's still nice to be able to go out there and hit pay dirt once in a while. And I think we did it. So, there was hardware all over the place. And sitting on the shelf, looking awful, for $25, all by itself. was a black Wii U. There it is. $25. Glossy as hell. Filthy. Looks just like a brick, but a guy like me who hasn't moved on to the Switch, this is a great deal. It came with no cables. And I asked the lady who had a real grudge if she could plug it in and check it out she says there's no 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 cables and this is some advice to you if you have the chance to make sure this thing's working out the door do what you can and in my case what i did was i said well there's a second wii u right there and that's got all the cables i know it's all wrapped up in plastic but would you mind plugging it in and checking it out she looks at me, takes this ball of cables that are wrapped up in plastic, says, what am I supposed to do here? To the manager, and the manager says, go ahead and open it. We can rewrap it. 
Man, nobody's extending themselves these days. Nobody. She plugs it in, into the television. It powers on. And I felt that was enough for me to get it. Just the fact that there was power. Okay, because believe it or not, the Wii U comes with a gamepad initially. Let me, let me show you one. Just a moment. Here's your normal, everyday Wii U gamepad, okay? This is the controller that comes with the Wii U. Believe it or not, it is a controller. Two big analog sticks here, okay? All right, and then the game disc goes in to this second, completely unattached, wireless system. All right, little disc drive there, okay? Oh capacitor there for some USB, some SD, all right? But if you don't have the gamepad, this still works. If you happen to have an old Wiimote, I think it has to be a Wiimote Plus. May not even be. This thing is backward compatible with the Nintendo Wii. So if you have some cheap old Wii, U, Wii games floating around, you got yourself a Wii for 25 but I knew we had Wii U games. I knew we had a gamepad. And I knew 25 was a good price for a guy like me. So we grabbed it as it was. We made sure it was at least powered up. We brought it home, plugged it in, analyzed it. And in addition to it running and working fine and connecting quite easily to the gamepad we have, a game bed that can be easily swapped back and forth between we use in addition to it fully being fully functional it's got two games on it it's got Super Mario World no no Super Mario 3d world and it's got the critically underrated critically underrated Nintendo Land, a theme park devoted to all of Nintendo's most classic games, multiplayer versions for many, some one player. I mean, this has got to be the most versatile game on the Wii U, hands down. And on top of it, because it utilizes the gamepad, it's not ever going to be on the Switch. I still play Nintendo Land with family to this day. It is an absolute treat. Whether you're killing monsters in split screen in Legend of Zelda or you're using the gamepad as a kind of uh, steering wheel for F-Zero, you're running around tracing one of your the other players as a ghost in Luigi's Mansion. I mean, there's so much going on in Nintendo Land. They, that game got utterly panned by everyone when it came out i guess nobody's playing with with friends it's such a treat so there you go 25 what did we spend 45 bucks on two systems each one with software yeah we're missing some parts here but not much the h there's an hdmi cable and then the proprietary uh ac adapter that may run you about 10 bucks to get a Chinese version, okay? So there you go. Don't count out the Wii U, folks. I swear, it's good stuff. And don't count out the PSP, but I think that's already established. All right, there we go. That's what we got. It's Christmas. It's going to be hardware. That's just how things are done. Everybody wants to see a big old box of something under the tree, and I think we pulled it off. Let's get back to Bullworth Academy. Let's go see some Christmas decos. Okay? How's that sound? I'm in on that. It's Bullworth. Uh, we're the... We're the uh, here it is. Bully. By Rockstar. On the 360. 
Scholarship edition. Let's get Christmassy. All right. It's Christmas time. Get get a, a sweater. I should have known Mom would disappoint us. I should have known. Mom. Unbelievable. It's got to be enough time to get back and get my headphones on. These 360 controllers love to fall asleep after like 10 seconds of not being touched. Maybe that's a good thing. All right. We're all christmas up here with our werewolf mask and our reindeer sweater. Why don't we go uh, grab a... Uh, let's go see the, the, Chris, the big Christmas tree out in... Uh, out in town, okay? We'll leave Bullworth Academy and we'll just ride around. We'll, we'll look for Christmas decos. Does that sound good? What do we got? Like, 50, where are we on time? 15 minutes left in the voyage. We gotta see what's in the mailbag. I gotta make sure that happens. Somebody out there took the. Oh, there's class. Oh, we gotta go to class. Why is class start? Oh, it's 9 a.m. So there is class today. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to classes. We'll go attend class. Why? I don't know. Oh my god, get away. You know what? Forget it. We're out of here. Forget it. It was a sign that I didn't know how to get through a door. I'm not getting to class. We're leaving town. Ugh. So, yeah, if you're noticing any similarities, you don't know anything about both. It's made by the same company who made Grand Theft Auto. I have a feeling you've heard of that. Grand Theft Auto is basically about crime, bullies, about school. Maybe most people went to school pretty religiously in class. This guy in the other hand didn't, he's got truancy! And this cop wants to end it! We gotta get out of here. Oh my god. Hold on, I got it all figured out. Oh, jeez. I think we got away. I guess I like you. So yeah, we gotta be careful. There's another cop there. There's no, we can't. We we're, we're only 15. Why are you even trying? We don't know how to drive yet. So we're stuck with riding around town. Did he say nice shirt? <laughs> Look, officer, I know I'm supposed to be in school, but I'm, I'm searching for Christmas decorations. And there's one. Look at this beautiful tree. Check that out. Oh. That shirt is bad. They're all complaining about my shirt. Uh, don't do that on Christmas. Star up there. I'll tell you what, we got nothing better to do. What do you say, uh. God, I, I wonder if I even know where it is. We'll go to my favorite uh, place in town here. There's, uh. God, do I even know where it is? I've only been there a couple times. There's a, uh. Oh my god! I don't think I do. I think it's on the other side of town. Yeah, let's go across this bridge. I think if we go across this bridge here, we'll go uh, into Old Woodworth Vale. You know, all these old colonial New England towns. You got where all the, the corporations took over and put down their businesses. And then you had the place the, the neighborhood that was built before the corporations, that the corporations are now paying to keep up and running for the sake of goodwill to the village. And so that, in, here in uh, old old work, is all the fun areas. And I think if we're lucky, we'll find my favorite place in town. I think it's very good. Get up the bike. You put that thing on what? Your what about the thing on my head? Is this it? No, this isn't it. I think we're close though. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I think it's right. Is this it? Man, don't I know this town like the back of my hand? Oh my god. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Is this it? Oh, this is a race. Should we go racing? How much time do we have? Shiny bikes. That's not where I wanted to go. Oh boy. There's like a comic book. You really should uh, be in school. Shop here in town. I wanted to go to the comic book shop. Everybody is such a critic about me bumming around town. Man, it is not easy being a kid. Not even during Christmas. I don't think we're going to find it. Wait, that might be it. No, nope, that's a newsstand. Oh boy. I think we blew it. What do you think? We should, do, should we do a bike race? That seems like that'd be boring, right? How much time do we have? Eight minutes left in the show? Violent adults, let's just start being violent. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm still learning how to, how to ride. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think how to make a big finish here. Let's go to the carnival. There's the carnivals in town, which I was always really excited about here. Oh my god, cops right on me. Quick, get off! Run! He's not going to let us in. Oh, no, 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 we're busted. Leave me alone. No. I'm troubled. Oh, man, they're not going to let us into the carnival. Oh, jeez. And they took my bike. No. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, this whole Christmas is ruined. Ugh. I wish I knew where that comic book store was. Right, spent at least 25 hours preparing for this voyage in that game. It decides now to freeze. That's when it decides to freeze. Okay. Let's see what's in the mailbag. doing there say by the bell all right and a couple of questions here first one here is from uh, rich so cash uh, when is that oven getting fixed none of your business thank you for the letter Raz, with everyone going crazy about the PS5 and PlayStation 5 for Christmas, which version would you personally prefer? The version that features a disk drive for $100 more, or the version that has the capability to play digital downloadable software only for $100 less? I heard, this is not mine, I just heard this for the first time, I think last night, it was almost like perfect timing, I couldn't put it in a better way. If you don't hold it, if you can't hold it, you don't own it. I like that a lot. I can't tell you how many times I've fired up an old used PSP, my PSP, that I've had for years with a whole host of of downloadable games on the memory card that I got for free by spending PlayStation Plus money every month to their subscription service. I can't tell you 
how many times I've pulled out my old PSP a few months later to fire up an old game for old time's sake and being locked out of it because the PlayStation system has not been connected to online and has not been updated. That's just one of the many things can th that can happen if you pigeonhole yourself into only having downloadable content, especially when you're talking consoles, because they are going to keep you on that drip. Do you understand me? They are going to keep you on that drip. And if you don't pay, they can always take it away. And then the hundreds of dollars you spend on this high-end piece of hardware is nothing. So, as far as I'm concerned, if I have to wait a year or two to get a disc version that's updated and made more properly and have a whole host of games waiting in the wings to be played, then by God, I'm going to do it. But that's just one pirate's opinion. Also, says our fair viewer, which game system do you think is the all-time best Christmas gift to give? Love from afar, our old matey, Cap and Sis. Which game system do you think is the all time best Christmas gift to give? Well, I think that that transcends uh, game systems, wouldn't you say? You know, it's not about getting the person whatever the press is saying is the newest thing to get. That's not what it's about. It's about spending time with that person and learning what they truly want in their heart and figuring out what they want and they don't even know it. So if you're looking for the perfect gaming system to get someone for Christmas, you start with talking to them about games. You start seeing which games they covet, which games they remember, what kind of games they like, and ask them what games they do have, because you'd hate to get them something they don't have, or they already have. So that's a very subjective question, and I'm not sure that I could really say. I'm not sure that I would be able to go out on a limb and say, this one particular system is the best. It's different for each and every one of us. It's like the Christmas spirit, man. It's different for all of us. We keep it in our own way. All right, gang. I think that's it. I think we have to go. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I uh, hope that you get to spend time with family or spend it in a joyous way. Keep it how you want to keep it. And by God, whatever you're doing, I hope at a critical moment, when things are just right, it doesn't all freeze on you. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure when, but boy, do I know one thing. Wherever we go on to Silicon Seas and beyond, we're going to go there together. So until next time, my friends. Farewell and adieu to ye fair Spanish maidens. Farewell and adieu, ye ladies of Spain. For to we receive daughters for to get a sweater from mama. And lo, nevermore shall we see ye again. Keep your powder dry, ladies.